Hi everyone, it's good to see you here today. It's a wonderful day. We're going to be doing Zelda Lego here in a moment. Got the new Zelda Lego set. We're going to build it. It's going to be beautiful. Hi Shasto. Stinus, thank you for the sub during the intro. 136 months. Very appreciated. Mochi, good to see you. Zack Attack, I wish this set was less expensive. I, I, I luckily was able to use my uh, discount $50 off thing. I've been saving up points, so that, that helped. Doesn't make it any less expensive, but it's still better. I might give the capture card a quick refresh. That seems a little bit better. What's up, Smoople? Good to see you. Vera Volpine, hello. How are you, Vera? And Narvik, European friendly time. What the Dodongo? I've been streaming during the day some days. My problem is not enough space to display this set. Yeah, that's a problem for later me. <laughs> That's a problem for later me. How's the background music? Is it is it at a fine volume? Something something quiet and relaxing in the background. There's music. Oh, maybe that's a little bit too quiet then. What if we up to here? How's that? Is that a little bit better? Zytra! Thank you for 74 months. Very appreciated. Hello, hello. Do you not hear the music? It says modern output, so it should be coming through. I still hear no music. Can I can I get some confirmation from money? Yeah, doesn't Steen that there's music in the background? I don't hear the music either. What the hell? I'm going into studio mode. Everybody stand back. I know what the problem is. It's because it's it's only on the other scene. Uh, let's see. It'll, it'll be in your window capture. Add Firefox. You might see my Firefox for a moment. Ah! But now you should be able to hear the music. Hi, Lame Andy. Hello. Now that's louder than you? Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's calm down a little bit. Can't be that much louder than me. Yeah, I can turn it down a touch. Give me one moment. How about that? Is, that? is that nice? Some nice background music while we while we build. Is that good? You like that, everybody? Are we happy with that? See no 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 uh no 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 uh good controversial takes so I think we're good. All right, folks. It's time because today I am building the new 
Zelda Lego set. It's going to be so exciting. I've been waiting for a long time. It, it's a pretty big box, too, so uh, oh, hold on. Let me, let me get it. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Danny Cario is ready. Oh, hold on. This is this is reverse. I can fix this. Hold on. Let's fix this real quick. Here we go. The new Zelda Lega set. The legendary gamer elf. Here we go. Made with real Lego pieces too. From United Brick Co. So let's uh let's get a little zoom action on this. Let's uh let's open it up, see what we got. Got our instructions. 20 steps. Exclusive set designed by Steven Erickson. Thank you very much, Steven. Alright, let's get the pieces out. Thank you for choosing one of our products. And there's their address. <laughs> Zero to three sad onions. <laughs> the legendary gamer elf. That's him. That's him. Did you know that Lego short for Lekgulp, which is uh, Danish for play good? I actually feel like I did know that. But you could be telling me fibs. But OC doesn't seem like the one to uh, tell me tell me fibs. Yeah, that's right. Je Jeffrey uh, or uh, Steven Erickson must be Miyamoto's apprentice. You're right. All right. So it looks like we take two of these. Then we stack these together. Boom, just like that. Already we're making fierce progress. We're already at... Man, these... Made with actual Lego. <laughs> this is some tough... These pieces are tough. I don't know. Alright. We're already at step two of 20. Okay. Oh, these are little boots. Take a look. Little, little, little boots right now. Okay. Step four is I need a brownish plate and a light green plate, and they need to be stacked atop each other and combining the boots. I need a green two by one and a brown two by one. The eyes are staring, looking right into my soul already. Oh uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to display this one uh, right outside Danny Cario's doorway. does not infer to me, because it says there's supposed to be three of th these and only one of these. I don't know. Okay. It's supposed to be here. I'm using context clues. This is what we have so far. I can't believe we're already on step five. Can you believe we're already on step seven by the time I read your chat message? We're zooming. We are zooming at unbelievable speeds. Yeah, this is, this is just a, our, our warm-up round. Screw it up. No. Imagine if I screwed it up already. This goes on the front. I can I can see him taking form already. Let's 
step 10. I'm going to take this face plate. Put it on here. I'm going to take this. This is Gamer Health app, hat right here. Look at that. Boom. Gamer Health hat coming along great. Okay. Now I need the two eyeballs. I need the yellow plate. Boom. And two of... These, these here. Oh, these must be the Gamer Elf ears. Okay. Gamer Elf ear one. Right there. On this side, Gamer Elf ear two. This is Gamer Elf mouth. Schnoz on. Gamer Elf is coming along great. This is this is fantastic. All right, we're we're, we're flipping it. Step thirteen. has a little bit more extension and check this out look everybody it's a hook shot and he has it on his back as <laughs> as, as link i mean gamer elf usually does all right we're going to do this next step twice the step's so nice they made me do it twice Why didn't they make the hat the same color as the shirt? <laughs> uh, step 15. Hold this. Okay. Step 16. Take this piece. Put it on top. Take this piece, put it there. Step 17. making the almighty Hylian shield. I mean, gamer shield. I also want to give big thanks to Danny Cario, my wonderful friend, uh, who, who gifted this to me for my birthday on, on August 3rd. And I have been saving it for the best moment to show it off to the world. Uh, that moment is now, in case you weren't aware. A yellow triangle, as, as one would have. Screwing up the final step, everybody. Step 20 is truly the hardest step. And we give him his little sword. And there we go! Oh, and his arm fell off. Put it back on. And there we go! It's Gamer Elf! Da, 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 da. Say hello to Gamer Elf, everybody. Here he is, in all of his glory. Honestly, the shield is pretty good. Uh, I don't know why they don't have the same color for the shirt and hat. 
Uh, I think that the, I mean, overall, you know, it, it's a pretty creative little little guy, you know. I think he's funny. I think he's funny and I like him. And he's gonna watch over our build progress over here. <laughs> there it is, Game Ralph. Thank you, thank you, Danny, for this wonderful birthday present. And on that note, we're gonna make this guy. <laughs> I don't, know. I don't know, everybody. Hold on. Me, me when they say they have Lego Zelda at home. <laughs> Lego Zelda at home. <laughs> There's an imposter among us. There's an imposter among us. <laughs> oh, very good. All right, let's uh. Oh, this is this is fully sealed. Hold on, let me get my. And see what do you have. A knife. It's a good knife, right? All right. Uh, I'm just gonna pour this on my floor. And here is the almighty and ever powerful Oh, mine has a bend in it. Lego, you got to send me a new one for free. <laughs> Come on. What heck? What is this? <laughs> oh man. That actually kind of sucks. So, this set is very cool. It gives you a little bit of a history of Ocarina of Time and Breath of the Wild. Some bios on Young Link, 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 and Princess Zelda, all four main Zelda characters. Shows off the Ocarina of Time and the Breath of the Wild version that you can build, but you can only build one or the other. We are going to be building the Ocarina of Time one today because I like Ocarina of Time. Um, so, as nice as having the paper instructions are, which, uh, by the way, uh, Lego was put out a poll recently or a survey being like, hey, do we stop shipping out the paper instructions to save paper? And it was su met with such resilience by the community that uh, that they took the survey down. They didn't even like recognize that the survey existed. They just pretended it never it never happened. Um, so I think the paper will be here to stay. But I I have to admit two things. One, I like saving the environment, so it would be nice if this was like an optional thing that you could get with it to save the planet a little bit. I like having them, but I don't use it. I have my iPad here with the instructions on it that I preloaded before the stream. Because it's way better for streaming when I, so I don't have to have that on a whole thing. <sighs> All right, I gotta find bag one. Okay, cool. I wonder how many crazy Zelda fans 
like double dipped and bought this twice so they could have both Deku trees built. Like I'm I'm a pretty crazy Zelda fan, but that'd be a lot of money to spend. <laughs> Okay. Also, very interestingly, in the instruction booklets for these sets, they've been saying how they're going to be switching to paper bags instead of plastic bags recently. Except they said that like over a year ago and they're like, get ready. You're going to have like a mixture of plastic and paper bags going forward. It's been like well over a year since the last set I bought. And there's and every bag here is still plastic. So I don't I don't know what the what the delay is but that's of interest to me. Oh, look at the little Deku shield! Little Deku shield. Oh, I see a little Link head and body. By the way, during the Lego streams, I am very, very chill overall. So if you guys have anything you want to chat about, anything to discuss, we, we got time. Got our brick remover here. Keep that close by. Keep it here with Gamer Elf. He will guard it for us. All right. First thing is we're gonna build. We're gonna build a young one. Look at look at this little hat. It comes with his ears and the the headpiece. That that's that's cute. And we can have him be happy or angry. We're going we're to go with happy today. Any good crypto investments you recommend? Yeah. Uh, go back 15 years. Wait for Bitcoin to exist and buy it all. Well, no, don't buy it all. Buy like 10. Right, so there you go. A little... There it is. Man. And where's his legs? Where's his legs. Oh look at the legs. They 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 have like a little like a little bit of the skin showing for his 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 legs. And then so what you do is you put the bottom of the tunic on. And you squish it together. And there you there you go. Young Link. Teeny, teeny little Link. And he comes with his own little Deku shield. And he, they, they did not model an actual Kakiri sword, it doesn't seem, but they did give him a, a, a sword. So we will, we will give him a sword. So he's happy. Here you go. Here you go, little guy. There he is. Look how happy he is. He's happy to be here. I'll put you over here with Gamer Elf. Oh, Gamer Gamer Elf died in your in your presence. Cool. Now we're gonna build Link's treehouse, which is. Something that they include, it looks like, for free, that's, like, not part of the main set. So you can at least have a place to put your Ocarina of Time people when you build the Breath of the Wild one. <sighs> and now comes the part where we get to really chill out. And and now's the time when which I, ha I wish I had pre-prepared uh, discussion points, but I I truly don't have anything big to talk about. I, I did go to the pharmacy today, and I picked up my first ever prescription for an ADHD medication, which uh, I haven't taken yet. I'm going to wait until Monday uh, for a work day to try it out, which that should be interesting, because I've heard, I've heard so many different things from different people and friends being like, it, the first dose, I suddenly realized this is how people think, usually. <laughs> to, you know, like, it didn't really do much for me. It took a while to figure out what was the appropriate dose for me and all that. So, I don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm, I'm excited to to try it out and see, see how it is. 
for me. What my experience will be. I think I'm going to get tested. I recommend getting like a, a, a good psychiatrist or something and forming a relationship with them first and like getting to know them. You know, even if you don't think you have like anxiety or depression like symptoms, just talk with them for a bit and be like, you know, when they ask you, like, what's your intention here? It's like, I want to, you know, get to know you a little bit. I'd like to see how I am, start talking about possible things I have concerns about, like possibly ADHD and just kind of smooth into it, you know? Depending on who you get, sometimes they're a little bit ready to jump right into stuff. So it all depends on who it is. I recently got diagnosed, and taking the first dose is like, what the hell? Is this, this is normal. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited but fearful at the same time, because uh, I'm, I'm notorious for not really. I, 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 I've been taking you know medicine for for mental health for a, a long while now, but I, you know, it's never been something that I've had like I had like a, a sudden like whoa effect, and I've never been like a drinker or. I've never used drugs or anything like that. So it's like, I don't, I've never had like a, like a, a true, like a chemical reaction happening that is suddenly noticeable. I'm, I'm a, unless you count like, you know, painkillers when you, you're sick, you know, but you know, it's it, 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 exciting to think about just, it might be something helpful. So we will see. I'm just zooming through this by the way, right now. I, I love official Lego set instructions. They're they're always so clear and easy to easy to work with. MC, are you excited for Echoes of Wisdom coming out soon? Yeah, uh, and I'm going to be doing a launch stream of it, and of course I'll be just streaming plenty of it in general. But uh, when the game comes out at midnight, I'll probably um, on. It's, can somebody like, cl clarify to me like? What day at 12.01 a.m. is the game released? Is it Thursday at 12.01 a.m.? Like, should I be staying up on Wednesday night? Or is it Friday at 12.01 a.m. and I stay up Thursday night? I'm good for either one, but I, I, I'm, I, 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 I don't know what the exact day of release is. And like I said, either way, I'm going to be doing a lot. And we'll, we'll go for probably three or four hours, maybe five hours, depending on how much I'm enjoying the game that, that night. And then revisit it the next day. Okay. So we've got this little plate so far. Some, some pillow-like objects and a couple of flowers. Nothing too crazy so far. I think Thursday at 12.01, so staying up Wednesday night. Hmm. I've been avoiding most of the press. I saw the the first, like, extended, like, uh, video where they, they talked about the, the, the second world mechanic. Uh, that, that was as much as I, I really looked at. Uh, I didn't really want to see the rest of the promotional content because at that point... I'm just seeing, I, I'm already sold on the game. I might as well just, you know, save a little bit of it for a surprise. September 26th, which is Thursday, so I'll be staying up Wednesday night, it sounds like. Cool. That's fine, because that's after Survivor. Um, let me let me check my calendar. Let me make sure I don't have anything. I'll make sure my, my calendar's not on screen either. Thursday. No, I have to be up at 10.30 a.m. on Thursday. No! You want to know the best part? I, I don't mind talking about it because it's something that you, you would know is coming. Uh, it, I'm, that's, I'm going, I'm going, going to see a lawyer for getting the, the, the documents worked up for the official transfer of Zeldathon. <laughs> so that, that I have a consultation with a, with a, with a lawyer <laughs> that morning. I'm, I'm gonna roll up to that lawyer like <laughs> He's like Are you okay I'm like oh, yeah I stay up all night playing video games He's like okay and what, what, what can I do for you I'm like I need to transfer video games I need, I need this I need to stop Oh. 
about Stalker and Time Randomizer from last night. <laughs> is it just you or are you both there? Uh, I mean, tomorrow is just me. With, like me and, uh, you know, not, not, not to give you too much information on how the the fish is being fried, as they say. Uh, me and Clay had, like, worked out a long time ago, like, what, what, what is, the, what does the transfer look like on our side? And so, this is me mostly going in with that information and being like, hey, can, can you make this into a legal document instead of a, you know, uh, a notated list? So that way we have something official and legally binding and enforceable to work with. And so he will go, yes, I'll, I'll, I'm going to work on it. And then I'll probably get an email in a week or something. And he'll be like, here it is. And I'll pay him money and I'll be able to send it to Clinkit, who will be like, that's fine. Or I think we should change something on it. And then we'll, 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 we'll do that as, as needed. We'll figure it out. And then the real transition period begins, because then we have to transfer all the accounts and stuff. That that's gonna be fun. That that's gonna be me and Clinkit on a phone call. I'll pr actually I'll probably invite her over to my house. It'll probably be way easier to transfer the the stuff if we're in person together, <laughs> like the, the the digital stuff. But yeah, well that that's a that, that there's a a month long process, basically outlined. Where we'll have a month to figure it all out. Okay, uh, I think this is where I'm at so far, and I don't think I, I've missed any steps. Looking at it from the dark from the reflection, and it seems about right. So far, so good. Alright, next step. Oh. Jesus. Here's at 6.45 a.m. each workday. Yeah, that... Uh, I, I, I do not envy you, my friend. But I commend you. I do commend you. I don't know what I'm building right now. I'm just kind of following the instructions. Which is always like one of the best Lego moments. It looks like I'm going to lay this on, its, on the ground like this. Yeah, Echoes of Wisdom is looking quite good. I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to expose myself to too much beforehand, so that way I can experience it as fresh as I as possible. But I just think it's a very exciting game in general. Like a lot, you know. One one reason that people have been talking about it a lot is, you know, it, oh, it's Zelda, it's Zelda's game, which of course is extremely exciting and, and long overdue, but. I think it's exciting that they are not... It seems like they're willing to experiment with the Zelda franchise still. Uh, one of the, the big fears I personally had um, after Tears of the Kingdom kind of got released and it, we started to absorb it was, you know, there were no official mainline games between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. There was some remakes but there was no new title. Like, usually, like, between Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, we had Minish Cap, we had Four Swords Adventures, but between uh, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, we had uh, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Between S Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild, we had A Link Between Worlds and Triforce Heroes, you know? And then between Breath of the Wild and, and, and Tears of the Kingdom, we just had remakes and spinoffs. You know, I love Cadence of Hyrule. I'm just saying mainline. I'm, I'm saying mainline series, you know. Uh, so it, it's exciting to see that they they are, you know, they are making a new 
game between Tears of the Kingdom and whatever comes next. And it's getting the, the, the full The Legend of Zelda treatment. You know, they, you know, wouldn't it be crazy if they tried to, like, make it a different, like, uh, they called it Echoes of Wisdom, Zelda's Quest or something? Imagine they imagine they did that, you know. I, I was scared, you know, it's like, what if they're, they're, they're you know, they, they, they just won't release any more games unless they look like Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom. They had that overworld style. So it, it's nice to see that they're willing to make an official Zelda game still that doesn't look like a, ma a mainline series game that doesn't look and sound like Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild. That isn't a remake as well. Because, you know, remakes are, are easy fodder for them, honestly. I'm hoping they let Grezzo uh, keep letting Grezzo make 2D Zelda games. I, I Do we know yet? Like, I've been waiting for confirmation. Do we know if this is a Grezzo game? Like, it's been assumed for a long time that this game has been created by Grezzo, but I I've never heard any official say so. There we go. Let's put up a wall. Oh, and look, it has a little bit of texture. Like a tree. I want them to go back to a more traditional style with the 3D titles. Uh, seeing that happen would be interesting, but I don't think we're going to see it happen. I think that the traditional Zelda play style might be relegated to the, the non-3D, the non-big ones, the, the smaller ones, the, the Echoes of the Wisdom, which, again, I'm excited because it's a mainline game. But I'm, I, I, you know, it, I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I, I, I don't want to diminish how my excitement by trying to put qualifiers on it. Apparently, Grezzo's trait is in the trademarks on the eShop. Oh, we love that then. I'm happy for Grezzo because. Uh, I don't have the full list of Grezzo's, uh, like, like, uh, list of games that they've made, but they, they, they did the Ocarina of Time remake, I believe. Um, and then, did they, did they do work on Majora? Or was Nintendo directly responsible for Ocarina of Time and Grezzo did Majora 3D? I don't, I, I'm, I'm not sure on the specifics. I'm sorry. But either way, they were they were able to do uh, Link's Awakening 2019, which was awesome for them. But they were also able to make Triforce Heroes, which I, I know the, the meme is I like to make fun of Triforce Heroes, but it is genuinely an interesting game. And for the direction that I'm sure that the Zelda team gave them uh, for what to make, I think they succeeded on what they were trying to make. Uh, it may not be a game I'm super interested in playing a ton, <laughs> but you know, it, it was a genuinely good game, and I and I still like to pop it in from from every now and then. But yeah, I'm happy because which means I'm jealous of them. Let's see, can I get some clarification on what games Grezzo it has has worked on for the Zelda series? Pretty much all but assumed that they were working on something. Uh, Gre Grezzo was working on something for a long while because after Link's Awakening 2019 release, uh, they've done a couple of their own projects, but for the most part, they had been, you know, kind of quiet on the, the, you know, Nintendo hadn't been really putting them up to much. And so it's like, well, they have to be working on something. You know, they got to pay their employees, and the employees got to be working on something. I can 
fix that. we have so far here. Seems like they've been mostly working on a ports of Switch, Miitopia and Luigi's Mansion. Otherwise, they're the ones that did Ever Oasis. Really? Okay. So they, they've had some they've had some weird work, then. More, more than I realized. More than I Anniversary Edition. Okay, that's Majora 3D, Triforce Heroes, Link's Awakening Remake, and Echoes of Wisdom are all present. Yeah. Honestly, I that's a pretty cool pedigree they have. In my opinion. building a small tree house right now. It's coming along. starting to take shape. Oh my goodness. Everybody guess what it is. It's a sign. It's a signpost. A signpost. Sign All right, now we get to make Navi, apparently. Stick on green. Angled bracket. Pop. And you take angled bracket. Again. And you put on this plate. Chicken. Oh man. 
best viewers. My god. Only the best for me. Cool. Well, I've made a little navy, and apparently, so they, 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 they include this green and yellow as well, which, um, green highlights objects of interest, yellow is for targeting an enemy, so you can change Navi's color by swapping in the, the dot if you, if you so choose. Hey, why do I have these two black pieces? didn't put them on the bottom they, they, they include extras for um for, for the stuff but they usually are all uh, like one tile things so uh, having large pieces at the end of a bag is usually a sign you, you, you messed up and I did I forgot to put the black pieces on the bottom there. that's the end of bag one I can put aside these bits. They are extra. Yo, is this Stephen Morris? I know you saw the beige and the music like triggered in your head. It, it, it all added up. You're like, you know, beige and I hear music. Oh, Bag ah. dose. Here we are, everybody. Bag dose already. Hmm. Ooh. I see some exciting things in here already. so exciting that there's a Zelda Lego set. I've wanted this for so long. Like an official one. <gasps> is this what I think it is? Yeah, boy! shield what do you think gamer elf how does it compare oh well, of course Jay I'm glad that you're able to find 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 your 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 brethren within within the world that's what it's always about so the options for adult link are Stern and yeah! We're gonna go with Stern. He's so cool. Cool guy. guy <laughs> and guess what he has his own little ocarina here you go buddy oh no Now, now, now he's got it. Ah, oh, just like Kirby, Danny. There we go. He's got his little, his little locker in time here. You, you want to give it a toot? Okay. 
set up straight. We're, we're on a broadcast, okay, brother? All right. Next up, a crate. Where I need green jug plus bottle cap. Is this a... It's a magic jar! It's a magic jar! And then we have... Our friend the red potion. So we'll have a blue potion. It doesn't have like a cap, it has a sticker. Okay, I don't know if it's supposed to be a blue potion, but... Oh wait, no, this is a bomb! This is a bomb! Magic Jar, Red Potion, Bomb, Compass. One more object that's going in here. stand up to this guy's hook shot. I don't know, man. And we take the Hylian shield. And this also is going to go in here. Magic jar replenishes Link's magic meter. Red potions rep replenish lost health. Bomb. Power explosives that can be used to destroy obstacles or enemies. The compass reveals the location of all unopened treasure chests and the dungeon boss. Hookshot. A spring-loaded grappling chain that can be used as a weapon or as a means of transportation. And the Hylian Shield. A large, heavy shield that, has, that bears the emblem of the Triforce. We're going to tuck this. Okay, we're going to knock over a wall. of the treehouse for storage.
All right. I don't know what we're building next, but I think it's like the top, the top section of the, the tree heads. for being a little quiet. This goes on like this right here. No, I didn't miss a step, I overdid a step. That's what I was supposed to do. It's very calming to watch, we like that. Calming is nice. Especially after a thing like Ocarina of Time Randomizer where I was shouting like a banshee.
What is this song? This is great. Old School RuneScape Autumn Voyage. But another reason that I need to lose my life into a RuneScape. I'm playing old school RuneScape right now. Hey, you know. Sorry to confuse you with multiple music, son. Sorry, I keep building off screen. I gotta make sure to like not move things from there. The position that's what I want. It's an amateur mistake. I think I'm building another wall, just like the one I just built. That's okay. This time I'll do it better. Banger, by the way. This is Pokemon Gen 3. Cyanwood City. Right? I don't know what Cyanwood is. Do I look like I know what Cyanwood City is? So chat, maybe it's a good time for a little... been doing to take care of yourselves lately? That's my question at the moment. Feel free to type into chat. Let me know what, what has been your activity that's been for you. Not for anybody else, just for you. What has been the thing that has kept you feeling good in this world that we live in? It could be anything and it, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be like a, you know, a quote-unquote healthy habit. You know, it, it may not be the, the best answer, but ice cream is an answer. It could be, you know, watching a movie or a TV show, it could be taking walks, it could be going to therapy. It could be anything that you feel like is something you're doing for yourself right now. Playing World of Warcraft. What uh what calming uh like 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 what what does that what does that give to you? And this this is not me being like a judgmental anything, I'm just genuinely curious. Like what is what, what does World of Warcraft give you? Like, do you have, like, friendships in it that you like to hang out with those people? Or is it about, you know, just the calming nature of the, the quests and the grind? Working on my giant backlog of games. Is that similar to what I was saying there with, with Gull? With, um, 
World of Warcraft? Is there something that's like been particularly enjoyable about the backlog? Is it the satisfaction of beating a game that you, you've had sitting in a digital closet for a thousand years that, that gives you that, that moment of checking it off the list feels good? Or And this question, are we talking about positive things we're doing for ourselves? Yeah. What, what, what is like the... What, what is your current self-care activity? What, what is the thing that, that gets you feeling... Feeling okay. I made it into 2024 into this year, and I clear as many games as I can. Awesome! Is that like a goal you set for the year? Just like beating games. It has fishing, herb gathering, and mining. Okay, so so you're 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 into you're you're into like having having the the hobbies and and and, and uh, the collectibles in a digital environment. Eating lots of fruit snacks. Fruit snacks are good. I mean, I, I don't usually eat or, or get fruit snacks, but I, I respect fruit snacks. Like, if somebody showed up to my house like, hey, I got some fruit snacks, I'd be like, toss me toss me one of those little baggies, brother. Give me, give me some of that Welch's, you know? I'm ready. I've been recently starting jogging at the gym three times a week and altering my diet to lose weight. I'm down 15 pounds on asthma. Let's go! Congratulations, Gannon. I'm proud of you. to hear that it's been a success and I know I'm, I'm, I'm not much one to talk but uh, the, the the small incremental changes to your diet are, are what matters you know you, so, some people they can wake up in the morning and they can be like all right I'm gonna change my entire life but th that's not a, a super productive way of going about it it, it, it it's usually a lot easier on your mental state if you start with you know all right, day one, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to drink any sugary sodas. You know, I'll, I'll have I'll have Diet Coke now. Maybe you'll change to water eventually. Yeah, it's like, okay, may, maybe maybe I don't ever get dessert anymore. Like, when I go to the, when I go to the restaurants, we, we skip dessert. You know, I have something at home that's a little bit less cool than these, you know? Imagine if fruit snacks didn't come in little baggies. What would they come in instead? I just got home from the gym. Is that self-care? I don't know. Does that make you happy? Does, is that giving you a sense of accomplishment? Because you could be doing things to take care of yourself that, that are self-care, but they're... I'm not specifically... I, I, I specifically did not ask, what is your self-care thing right now? I'm doing what, what? What is what is making you happy right now? What? 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 You know, I specifically mentioned like it doesn't have to be a healthy thing necessarily. It just has to be something that you're doing to make to make get, bring a smile to your face. You know. I've been doing a dark urge Baldur's Gate run with friends. With friends, nice. Have you been? Like, how, how many hours have you put into it so far? I'm up to 22 games this year, and most of those are giant RPGs. Stenus, I, I, I give you respect. I, 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 I wish I was more able to play giant RPGs, but I, I sure am not. My, my brain rots away. Maybe, maybe I'll have to try playing an RPG when I, when, I, when I'm on medicine. Maybe it'll be a, 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 a new, new day for me. I got a new job that I can grow in and start Monday. Nice, congratulations. Good luck with that. And then you want to share about it? You don't have to, you know, keep your people secrets. But uh, if you want to share, I always like hearing. Big bag of snacks. Big bag of fruit snacks. That sounds scary. Diet matters more than exercise when it comes to losing weight. That's true, but, you know, you can't. Exercising is a powerful tool with it. You know, it's a lot. So it's a lot easier to not eat a 2,000 calorie burger than it is to go burn 2,000 calories jogging. That said, 
you can still burn a fair number of calories jogging. And the best part is, if you use a calorie tracker, like I have, a, I have a calorie tracker on my phone. I don't use it as often as I should, but uh, best thing is like when you when you go for a jog and all of a sudden it's like, hey man, you got an extra hundred calories. You know? Like, Holy smokes! Well, maybe, well, maybe, maybe we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna get the extra cheese today. You know? Stick stick to your stick to your ticket. Drastic changes are tough to stick to. It's very much difficult. Honestly, for me personally, I think incremental changes weren't doing it. It's like aiming for moderate change. That's fair. I'm glad you're, you're, you're figuring out what works for you. Program fair, you put 30 hours so far into Baldur's Gate. Nice, nice. I don't know why I, what, what, what I did here. They had me do this. Oh, this is the front door of Link's house, and that's the curtain. Oh my goodness, everybody. <laughs> this all just started blowing my mind the second I, I, I went like this. That's Link's house. That's Link's house. <laughs> he lives there. You need a bit of exercise to prevent your metabolism from tanking when you start dieting. It helps. It helps. Even, you know, getting out and doing some walks. Alright. This next one's gonna be a pretty easy build. This next, this next part. You ready for this? I call this bed. There you go, Link's bed is in there. I wish I had a cow. I wish I had a, a Lego cow that I could put in the house, but they don't include one. That that would have been a, a, a nice little little treat, is if they included a cow to put in the house. Walking is good when the weather's nice. And I gotta tell you, anymore, the weather's not nice very often. We went outside today to go to the, uh, to the grocery store, and I tell you what, it was so nice outside. It, like, wasn't too hot. I was wearing my jeans, and I didn't feel like I wanted to wear shorts. I was like, wow, wearing jeans is comfy. And that doesn't happen all the time. It's rain here. Sign, stay in place. Link keeps cutting down the sign. display piece just for uh, the, the Ocarina of Time link. We'll put, we'll put Young Link up here. Oh! I launched a Deku shield at myself. Where did the shield go? Where did it go? Hold on, let me stand up. There it is. the Deku shield is a little bit big. I think you're, you're being troublesome. You're being troublesome, lad. There we go. 
go. And we'll put adult link. Put him on top of the house for now. He can do bigger backflips. He did a ground jump to get up here. Alright, there you go. This is there it is! That's the whole set. That's a good place for us to start. Oh, there, there he goes. Like, just, just, just stand. Stand in the place where you will live. Now face just any direction. Just stand there. No, oh, I made him dr <sighs> Whatever. It's good enough. Link here. What does the sign say? Couldn't tell you. Alright, so I'm gonna put put that over there. Next to Hero or Gamer Elf. And next up, bag three. Uh hold on, I I'm, I'm having a situation here. I need a different floor protector for underneath my chair. This one's small and it keeps like folding up on itself. Oh, also apparently I need one big face for a plate like that. How are you? I'm doing good, Rose. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Rose Lemont. You're good? If you're good, I'm good. Let's clear a nice little spawn here for the plate, which I'm sure we'll need. So now we're going to make a small Breath of the Wild inspired diorama for uh, Link and Zelda to be a part of. In fact, we're going to start off with building Link. Here's his hair. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go with this classic link face. Everybody knows this one. That's his favorite. Where's his pants? sword of his own for his right hand. I do like that they were smart enough in the details to make sure that Ocarina of Time Link is left-handed and Breath of the Wild Link is right. Did I say that correctly? And also should come with a Traveler Shield. Tattle Taylor! That's right, I, I, I heard you change your username. Welcome, welcome, Taylor. I like Tattle Taylor. It does, it, it rolls off the tongue well enough. There you go. Look at the little Breath of the Wild Link. Breath of the Wild Link, say your favorite, your, your, your famous line. Wow. I love it when he says. Oh, he's so good. All right, now I'm gonna build something. I don't know what yet. I'm gonna follow the instructions and we're gonna find out what it, what it's gonna turn into. You're right. He does say "hua, hua." gonna build Lego. You're right. I am gonna build Lego. That is something we're gonna do for sure. 
Waiting for your Lego review before I buy the set. I mean, Taylor, look at this. If this doesn't convince you already, like this is not even like the Deku tree build. This is just an, a bonus thing that they they have you build to like have somewhere to display your 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 mini figures. Like, and and look at the back. Look at the back here. There's a little little crate here, and it, uh, you can't see everything in it, but it has a hook shot, a Hylian shield. It has uh, a red potion, a magic jar, and a bomb. It's so cool. I don't know why I do like watching people do this exact thing while I'm I'm doing while I do it while doing it. It, it's it's the sense of community. It's the sense of, of of togetherness is what you're getting. All right, this is more more old school RuneScape, but I'm gonna skip this track. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna change uh, feels. This is cozy autumn music. I need cozy. More soothing. No, no. About forest while it's raining. Mm. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of people who do. Nintendo music, but I I want something. Let's do this one. right xenoblade music so tori the shimmering marsh So far, uh, Taylor, the, the review is good. The review is good. This has been a, a very fun build. Oh, Taylor, you missed out. You missed out on the build of Gamer Elf. Who could forget the Gamer Elf set? Look at this guy. He's even got his own hook shot. last times I built Lego, I, I forget what I was building, but I remember watching Die Hard while I was building Lego, and that was a, a fun experience. I kept getting distracted from the build, so I was like, I gotta watch Die Hard. It's a good movie. It was the first time I'd watched Die Hard as well. So that, that also lended its way to distracting me severely. Did Lego ever Ego? I don't know if there's ever been a, an official Lego and Ego collab, Danny. I feel like they should, though. You would think that that Ego would be able to make make Lego style pieces, like or of waffle, you know. You would think that would be within their capability. Lego, my Ego. It's the perfect brand collaboration. Welcome to the party, pal. Yeah, I don't know if I said that correctly, but I... Good movie. Very good. Mangrove Cove, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, I believe.
They did do Lego Ego Waffles in 2006. Bring them back. Bring them back. More volume on it. David Wise, if you're listening, one, what are you doing at my stream? Is it, is it, like, do you like Lego? Like, do you want to come over? We can build together. Man. Two. You're amazing. <laughs> how, how do you do this? One of my favorite parts of doing Lego stuff is when you have a nice like base area and then they're like, all right, now fill it in with the stuff. That's that's fun. That's real fun. Back to the earlier discussion, though. Uh, lately, my my, my self care has been kind of. You know, earlier this year, I would say it would be would have been journaling, like very at the very beginning of the year. But I haven't journaled that much. Um, I feel like what's been really helping me stay calm and relaxed has been taking healthy lay downs and naps. Like, not for extended period of time, not enough to ruin my sleep schedule, but there's times when it's like, I want to lay horizontal. And in the past, I feel like sometimes I'd, I'd, I'd feel guilty about it, and I've been basically trying not to feel guilty about it. Like, hey, you know what What really keeps get, keeps me going a lot of times pretty well is a, is a nice, healthy lay down. As long as you don't, you know, make it ruin your sleep schedule, as long as you don't use it as, you know, a, a way to hide away from your responsibilities... And it's just used as a supplemental, like, you know, thing for your for your own brain. That's awesome. I think that's great. And I love taking a little, little lay down. Sometimes a nap, sometimes not. You know, I I, I feel like I feel like I love I, I, I love I love nap time that isn't and like sleeping necessarily. You know, it's kind of like turn your brain off for a bit. You know, St stare into the dark abyss. I feel like I did that correctly. Therapeutic ASMR has helped me so much ever since I started developing severe anxiety. It also helped with ADHD when I need to focus during boring, boring work. Interesting. For me, I, I like no sound when. Usually, I, I sleep with a fan on because I like the sound of it, and I also like a, a small breeze, but I tell you, when I'm, like, feeling, like, really, like, anxious and stuff, and I, like, my brain's going too fast, I want, like, an absence of sound.
an absence of sound is my favorite. Hey, can I ask everybody to do me a favor? Uh, I'm I'm on I'm on a journey to try to get my archive channel uh, to to be able to do monetization on it. And to do that, you need a certain number of subscribers. So I'm going to post the link in the chat here. If you can drop a sub, that would be very appreciated. If you don't want notifications about the stuff, I understand. You can turn it off. Although at this point, I'm only going to be putting up maximum one video a day on it. But uh, usually people say subscribe and ring that bell. I'm going to say subscribe and ring that bell if you actually want to watch the stuff on the YouTube. But if you could subscribe, just just help me with the number. That helps out so much. That does help me. So much. I prefer you watch, you know, occasionally. If you miss a stream, you're like, ooh, that one's interesting. But, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm not forcing your hand to do nothing. This is an interesting uh, plate, but the two rounded. The only thing that helps my anxiety is not drinking too much caffeine and exercise of any kind, but sign to tire you... Uh, tire you out. Yeah. I mean, so, interestingly, the medication that I, I take for anxiety is traditionally used as a blood pressure medication uh, as well and so what it helps do for for me is it's less about like okay let's make anxiety not exist and more about hey when you have anxiety let's work on treating some of the symptoms of anxiety so that way you're able to calm down easier because i tell you what it's a lot easier to calm yourself down when you, when also your blood pressure and your heart isn't going blue. And, and, and keep it, you know, it, it'll keep you, it'll keep you going, it'll keep you frazzled, it'll keep you in the bad zone. So it's a lot nicer when, uh, uh, and it, the, the side effect of that is that it does make you sleep. You know, ooh, I'm feeling a little bit like a nap. It's useful for, for then sleep time, because I, I, you know, you know, one of the things that g gets me frazzled the most is I, I get anxiety around sleep time. Uh, when 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 I when I'm like laying there in bed and I don't have the 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 entire world to distract me with you know different flashing colors and YouTube shorts yelling about how to make the greatest pancakes in the world using this one simple hack, uh, I gotta tell you, the, the 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 thoughts can swarm in at nighttime. They can come and get you, and so I I, I recommend uh, learning how to deal with that without medication but medication can help uh, my personal strategy for getting rid of that like sleep time like uh oh brain 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 doesn't have constant engagement it's now going to go into the another world of of, of whatever is I, I i usually do i don't want to call it role playing because that sounds a little bit interesting uh but 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 i i do i i imagine fictional scenarios in my head uh and they've changed over time they've changed from being like Fl flying in the sky like a, and you know just like being being able to soar and like go, go around places to uh more more, more medieval type stuff like I, i've imagined like you know zelda like scenarios and stuff and you know uh now i'm imagining going to space all sorts of stuff like that so it's been fun and uh that type of stuff like it gets your brain distracted but also, it's boring enough for your brain to like get tired out a little bit and be like, "All right, this 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 guy's <laughs> he's no longer doing anything useful." And then I get sleepy. So that's that's my personal strategy. Same one as you talked about. Oh, interesting. Headspace app helps me a little, but I don't see a huge change. And 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 that's the biggest thing about mental health is that every single person is different. You know, you could have somebody who like is like swears by meditation. They're like, meditation has changed my entire life. I have a new outlook on everything. This is how I I, I exist now, and it's thanks to meditation. And then you 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 ha you, you give somebody the tools to start meditating, and you help guide them into it you give them like set them up for success 
And they're like, it just doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. And that's okay. And some people will respond well to medication. Some people won't. You know? Especially because there's so many different types of medicines. Some will work, some won't. Like, I, I just shared my strategy of imagining fantastical scenarios. But, you know... For some people, that might keep them up because they get too too excited about their fictional scenarios. I don't know where to go. I've made a mistake. I've made a, a, a large number of mistakes. Are part of life. Extra music. I also do the story scenario, but I start with how it'll end and the labor and how it begins to get there. So if the end is I go to the moon, well, I get on a rocket. Where is it? What am I wearing? That's a good strategy. Yeah, I, I've, I've never thought about planning the end to, and then how to get there. One thing that helps me if I don't, uh, if that's not working out for me though, is. Okay, this might sound crazy, and, and maybe someone will relate to me, which would be valid. Uh, one way that I, I can sometimes get to sleep pretty well is imagining... I, I let my brain go weird. I let my brain, like, think of strange things. And I, I, it's hard to even, like, give you a good example, because I, I, it's, I don't quite know. But, like... How... Can't, let me come up with an example. I can't, I can't think of any good examples. I'd have to go into bed. Uh, I start thinking about being in the like, like the. Uh, let me just maybe put myself in that space. Let me something that I think about. I, I'd think about, okay, in the grocery store. What if there was a way for all the all, all the shelves to be way higher and people had to like ride these like when they came in you know how shopping carts they, they you walk around with a shopping cart what if your shopping cart also was like a motorized ladder as well and thinking about that like okay but what type of things would I put up on the top shelf and like I, I, I like put myself into these bizarre scenarios where I have to think of solutions in ways that's kind of related to what you were saying Dino of like you know finding like how I get to a, a, a certain place you know, that that that's one 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 way that like it tires my brain out in a good way. Okay, I think I fixed my problem. Two, one, four, two. Yeah, mundane answers to your own pointless questions. But it's all about like getting weird with it, Let, letting your brain explore. How long have I been spending? About two hours. Might be time for a break soon. I don't want to stand up and stretch. Have I finished my diet coke? I sure haven't. It's always hard to quite to figure out how, where the circle pieces go because the, the imagery is a little bit difficult to tell. I'm, I'm figuring it out.
circle gets the square hole. So true. Like little lily pads or something? Is that what's going on here? Very Breath of the Wild colors. Oh, I missed a step. One thing I use for getting sleepy is any game that involves grinding and mindless activity. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo who does my Wordle before bed. Even though that's a game that you have to think. I don't know why I do that to myself. I don't think it's a very good use of my time. But I, I do it anyway. Oh, cool. There's some information here. I'm proud to present. Endura Shroom. This rare variety of mushroom requires cooking before you eat it. It helps you temporarily increase your stamina limit. Alright, Dino, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. The most relaxed I ever felt in my adult life was after hot yoga. This wears your brain and body out so much that you, to heat, you go super chill. Yeah, I can imagine that. I, I, I've never... I've never been to hot yoga or normal yoga, but... I, I can understand how that would do it to you. And here's Hylian Shroom. This mushroom is typically found near trees all over Hyrule. Eating it allows you to restore half a heart. The Silent Princess, Princess Zelda's favorite flower. Presumed, once presumed to be extinct, it is once again spotted growing in the wild. Thumbs are too big. This is a hearty radish. This little root thrives in many sunny fields and when collected, temporarily increases your maximum heart. Oh, 
Oh, I see. It, it, it goes on here, so it, it goes on the radish. There's your hearty radish. Which secret tree are you building, Breath of the Wild? I'm gonna be building the Ocarina of Time one, but it comes with like these little little, little mini sets for both Breath of the Wild and uh, Ocarina of Time. Circling back to self-care, I just streamed and hung up a few more pieces of art that I've been collecting for years, but never put up. We love that. We like decorating our own space. And making okay. don't really have names, they're just nice additional foliage to hide the wind away. come from? Oh, okay. My hands are too, too dang big. <laughs> and that's the end of the bag. Sure is. Alright, so we're not quite done with this one yet, but... My friends, I'm going to take a small break. I'm going to get up and walk around and maybe grab another drink, all right? So for now, I would suggest you all do the same. Take a quick break, and we will be back shortly with more Lego, all right? Get up. Get on your feet. Go on and make it happen.
This is not the scene I intended. I'm way too large. Ha! Ah! Change scene! Thank God. <laughs> uh. Hi, everyone. Hopefully you all had a nice little break. We're able to get up and... Stretch your fingers. And maybe... Just maybe... Get yourself a nice frosty beverage. <sighs> That's the Diet Coke water. Oh, I don't have a paper towel. I have a shirt. I'll do. <laughs> okay. We're on to bag four, my friends. Here it is, bag four. <gasps> do you see what I see? Does this have a copyright on it? 
It has the Lego piece number on it, I think. Come on, camera. Hylia herself inscribed this. All right, let's get to work. Uh, I'll, put, I'll, put, I'll, put, I'll put it here. I'll say keeping. First up, I need to find a face. All right, Princess Zelda's face options are slightly worried and nap time. <laughs> I like nap time Zelda. <laughs> nap time Zelda's kind of funny. Zelda, where's your pants? Zelda, where's your pants? You've been running around Hyrule with my pants on for far too long. I know you're the princess and you can do what you want, but. The Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. It serves Link as a map and gains them access to places such as ancient shrines. And that's why I'm giving it to Zelda, because she likes it more than Link. Link uses it because he has to. Zelda uses it because she she's she loves her iPhone. Look at how much she loves her iPhone. Look at her. There she is. The Princess of Hyrule and her iPhone. I'll put her over here. Ah, oh, jeez. I know what we're about to build. <sighs> All right. Some of you are going to pop off. If you're me, you're going to go. <sighs> All right. First one to realize what we're building and isn't cheating and post in chat. Uh, I, 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 I will, I will smile in your general direction, all right? But, but you, you have to. No, no cheating, all right? No, no, no looking up the. The information. Okay. There are some key hints already on on the field. Uh, that, not necessarily on the actual thing. I will neither confirm or deny until I see a correct answer. Any any questions? Because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing we have some questions about a Korok, perhaps. Uh, can't reveal. Is this Hestu? It... Zytra. It is Hestu. I see the Maraca pieces. Yeah, you see Maraca pieces. You also could see this. Which I'm sure is going to be relevant. Yeah, we're, we're building a Hestu. Which one of you told Nintendo that we like Hestu? Wasn't me. It's not like I dislike Hestu. I'm just saying, I wouldn't have minded Tingle instead of him. Which is a crazy thing for me to say, because a lot of people know that I'm not I'm not a huge Tingle fan. I'm not a, a Tingle hater though. I, I think Tingle's funny. I think he's good. Uh, I, I love him in Wind Waker, especially. But it does say a lot that I, I'd, I'd rather have Tingle than has to. My fault, sorry. Very friend. Sorry about yawning. I'm not that tired. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I probably, I probably could have slept a little bit longer this morning, but I, I chose not to. 
because I kind of kept waking up and I was like, all right, well, we, we've, we, we've, we've continued to, to stay, to, to be up, so let's, let's get up, let's get on with our day. It's the breath of part of that, it's true. I'm sure it does. S2 is one of the most uniquely Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom things. Actually, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. Oh my god, I'm making his belly right now. It's all, it's all been his belly the entire time. Peace alert, missing peace alert. Missing piece located was behind my keyboard. <laughs> the song Xenoblade, um, thirty six twenty four. No. This is... And what if I can't? What if I'm not worthy of her ideals? From Fire Emblem Awakening. And yes, that is the full track name, apparently. Look at this silly guy. I'm sorry, he's supposed to be facing this way. Oh, I, actually, in that case, I need to... I appreciate you all coming out and spending some time with me today. I hope your Saturdays are all going well and you're doing something fun. Like we mentioned last night during the Arcane Time Randomizer stream, I am perfectly content being second or third monitor content. Although some of you are crazy and have me as uh, TV content, which that blows my mind when people say that. I'm like, no, no, no. Y you must have me mistaken for somebody else. I'm, I'm not. I'm not television content. I'm. I'm. I'm third monitor. So t so glad I got ten live stream. Usually I can only watch the vods. Uh, do I usually stream at a bad time during the weekdays? Is uh, weekend a better time for you usually? Because my hope is to keep streaming daily. So hopefully I get more of them. Or perhaps perhaps you're from Europe and this is a more European friendly time. This should be Xenoblade. This isn't Xenoblade. This is Alchemon. Imperial City of Night. Ah! 
Nope, US. Midday Saturday is a great time for him to be here. That, that tracks. He's coming together. Little man. Little big man. Okay, this song's making me feel like I'm in church. I'm going to do a, a vote skip. Oh! Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Once you complete it, you only need to find the 201 millimeter size Korox in within the structure. Dear Lord. They're already off. They're infesting it. Like termites. Lego's going to start shipping out termites. Do you guys hear? Like one in a thousand boxes has termites in it instead. So you open it up, you're like, I'm ready to build my, 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 this Ferrari. And instead of a Ferrari, uh, like, built a Lego, it's just a box of termites. And it's like, just, just goes everywhere, starts eating your entire house. Like, shucks, I hate when that happens. So that way people, like, it's like gambling, you know? People love gambling nowadays. Like a gotcha game. Except they just added more bad things instead of good things. As this exploring by the coming along. Alright, time to make some maracas. Oh, they are so clever. Everybody, it's a Korok seed. You put one in. Okay, I'll get to make the other. See if you can see if you can hear that. (laughs) 
I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> I don't know if I can break through the noise detection, but uh, they definitely shake. Hold on, here, well, let's try some. Let's pause Ilya. I'm gonna open up my, my microphone filters. I'm gonna turn off the noise suppression, the compression, and the limiter. Hold on, wait. Compressor, come in, come in here. Okay, everybody. Well, we did. All, I, I did the best I can. <laughs> My microphone is not set up for for miking Lego. It is set up for for miking me. Hestu. Trade Korok seeds with Hestu to fill his maracas, and he will return your generosity by increasing your inventory. building now. We, we're, we're back to MC is following the instructions and hopefully what comes out of it is beautiful. Yeah, and in Kadato, I, I, I love the... Le Lego doesn't miss when it comes to detail and that's what I love about them. being tricky hold on come on go on not what not like that am I doing this wrong okay no I, I was doing it wrong I figured it out My hands are so big. That's the only thing that makes Lego a struggle. Sometimes I have realizations that I am I'm not I'm not I'm not a small fellow. <laughs> So far, a very specific thing that I've built, but I don't know quite what it is.
cool man cool shape In this video, I will be teaching you all about backward long jumps and how they can accelerate Mario's speed to accomplish tricks where you're able to go upstairs like this or like this. Oh my gosh, look what it is! I bet I put a Master Sword in that! Aha! But I'm not, apparently not there yet. Next, I need hinge piece. Then I need another hinge piece. Then I need another hinge piece. Luckily, I figured out what we're doing here. It's a triangle! Triangles in my Zelda game depicted via Lego? It's more likely than you think. Oh, I, I, I completely just ignored a step. connect anything, which is weird. Connects at the back here, but... Alright. Whatever. I trust you. I trust you, Lego. Last step, and the Master Sword sleeps again, forever. Up! Oh! There it is. Thank you. 
Good timing, random music. about to yeet that sword into the bushes. The sword just dropped. Cool! Oh, I'm sorry. Has to, uh... Is this your, is this your, your, your placard? So far, we have built zero Deku trees, but we've instead built a Breath of the Wild diorama and an Ocarina of Time diorama. Both of them are so cute in their own ways and wonderful. And we also built Gamer Elf, who's going to live over here for right now. Link! Watch out! It's Gamer Elf! He's coming to get you! He's coming to get you, Link! Run! <laughs> He's coming to steal your identity! Link, stuff your social security card away! <laughs> well, that's just fantastic. Um... I'm gonna keep going. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna make make my my point for like like stopping for the day, but uh, I think I can go a little bit longer right now. Uh, where where I might stop may be the point where we make have to make the decision between uh, Ocarina of Time and Breath of the Wild because I know that you're able to, like the, this next part I'm gonna build is like universal for both of them, and then like there's a point in the instructions where it just is like. Would you like to build Breath of the Wild or Ocarina of the Time? Turn to this page. So that might be the, the stopping point for me for the day, but we'll find out. We still got some time. I need that time. Oh, bag five is, oops, all big pieces. We, we love that. Look at this. Ooh, ho, ho. I love big Lego pieces. We're building a, a, a Deku tree base is probably what we're doing here. Personally, I love it when I open up a Lego bag and it has just big pieces in it. Feels like I'm doing something. Yeah, building a nice foundation. This is also giving you a good uh, sense of scale for how big the, the Deku tree is going to be.
Oh, you're gonna be big. Big tree. Galaxy music. I say that with so much confidence. This is Mario Galaxy, right? World 3 map, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Could have made a big fool of myself if I was that confident it wasn't Mario Galaxy. I can imagine it now. So many people, they'd be like, Oh, MC, you're such a fraud. You, you think you know everything about Nintendo music, but you're actually a fraud. But I got it right, so can't say that. Pokemon? What is this? If anybody knows this one, let me know before I go check. I think it's like one of those Pokemon, uh, it's a 3DS one. It's like a weird city, I don't remember. Because I don't remember Pokemon cities. I barely remember <laughs> Pokemon music. Well, there you go. That's all Bag 5. <laughs> Where's Bag 6? Oh, looks like more big pieces for us. Put these off to the side. Going out even further. I didn't expect it to go out that far. Let me look it up. This is Shalor City from Pokemon X and Y. Okay, so I it was right in was Pokemon, but. I, I do not remember Shallow or City. I did beat, uh, I think I had it wide. MC, when I go to cook dinner about 15 minutes, should I make chicken or salmon? I'm gonna go with salmon tonight because uh, chicken is is, 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 a, is more more common. I think so. t t tonight, if it's Saturday, you, sh you should do something a little bit more, a little bit more than what most people make. You know, go, go 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 the extra step. We're going sand. If this was Wednesday, I'd say chicken all day. But it ain't. This is Bamboo Island's favorite sort. I know that one.
please stop growing in scale. I don't have much more desk left. That's wrong. No, that's wrong. MC, what's up, MC? Where did Zelda hide the Lego? Uh, she didn't hide them today, luckily. I did almost lose a, a couple pieces under my keyboard, but I, I was able to find them swiftly before we get, had to go into panic mode. What is this song? Let me turn it up. This is Birdman! This is Birdman Pilot Week 64! Let's go! Birdman's a, a certified Le Lego stream classic. Supposed to be a gap. I first time. This music is local on the eights, man. And now, you're local on the eights. Today's the Today, sunny, high of 84, mostly cloudy. Winds from the southwest at 5 miles per hour. Tonight, Low, 86. Some clouds in the evening. Your week ahead. This song goes, man. I forgot how good Birdman was. All I care about is schools closed in my county. Oh, hold on, like, come on, come on, we can do it. A special weather bulletin. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Gannon County until 6 o'clock p.m.
Oh, it's getting cloudy. <laughs> And I could I could do this whole build if I had this music going, man. Especially if I had somebody telling me the weather. Gotta get blue candy on the phone. I haven't talked to blue in a long while. I think he's been doing Pokemon. All right, this is this is what you, you came for, folks. This is what you came for right here. All right, that's what it's about. Oh yeah. Over here, boom shakalaka. Another big one, boom. Over here. Thanks for watching Angry Goose Weather. <laughs> hey, got a wise guy over here. We don't can we don't we don't fill in the middle yet. It looks like we, we do the building on the middle next in, in bag seven. But this needs to take a take a hike. So temporarily I'm gonna put this here. I still need more room, man. I have to clean off my, my, my major award. I just bought this set for a friend for a birthday. Oh wow, that's very generous. Of you. That's very kind. It's not, a, it's not a cheap present. It's a, it's a wonderful set. Um, you can see I can show you. We, we did this first part of it, and it looks really good. And then the second part of it. Please ignore uh, Gamer Elf. He's not part of it. That's very, very kind of you. Very kind of you did for your friend. Cool. All right. So what I need now is apparently three of these, one of these, Major award, lol. Look at my major award! Super MC Gamer, 5 million hours watched. You did this! You watched for 5 million years. You did it. Got the Twitch logo on the back. Look at that. Oh, was that in the box last night? Yeah, it was. I was really hoping they were going to send me another hidden immunity idol, so that way I could uh, give one to a friend so I don't get voted out tonight. But, uh, I'll have to use mine. That's a big Lego piece. <laughs> Doing right you are. i move these over here. Oh, yeah. One mini baggie? Okay. Oh, I just lost a piece. Why are you Look at this piece. That's a weird piece. All right. Step 24. And we're done. Oh, 
Okay, I gotta admit to you, Gopora's Lament is not a, a song I want to listen to for any longer. And that's actually the end of the playlist. Okay, um... How about we listen to... Ooh, new 83 minutes of relaxing and calming Nintendo music. Hmm. I'm actually not about these. I, I need, like... I, I need something that's not relaxing. I need Nintendo music... ...to work, to. I, I need some working. I need some working Nintendo music. Oh, yeah! We shot theme 10 hours. Didn't Mickey do a stream of that? Uh, X Water? Where he, he listened to it for 12 hours straight or something? I started playing Ocarina of Time on my 3DS. Whew. No. No. Be beautiful woman, stop talking to me. No. Siri update downloading. No. No. Beautiful woman just started doing whatever she wanted. Oh, apparently they already want me to put this in place. So I, I need to find a different home for this. Over there. Beep, beep, beep. Donkey Kong music is so good. I don't know how Nintendo as a company is able to like be so consistently good with their music. They very rarely have duds. Like I don't know. There's like, when you think of other game companies, they're, they're like, man, this game has a good soundtrack. But I don't know. It just feels like they don't miss. Nintendo doesn't miss. Like they don't create forgettable soundtracks. What set are you building first? Ocarina of Time or Breath of the Wild? Uh, Ocarina of Time. And I probably won't build the Breath of the Wild one because uh, I want to display this one. Okay. Is Koji Kondo magic? See, I disagree with that statement because Koji Kondo did some great stuff. I'm, I, I will never take away what he did do, but... There's so many amazing uh, musicians in, in Nintendo that Koji Kondo, like, contributes still regularly, but... Like, he only did one song for Super Mario Wonder, right? He only did one song? I don't remember. Either way, the, the point I'm trying to make is there's a lot of other composers at Nintendo and who part of Nintendo games that just, like, are so talented. It just feels like Nintendo cares that the music is good. I wish they cared about uh, letting people listen to the music without turning on a game console, because that'd be really great if they would actually, you know, use their music and put it on streaming services, but no. I know Square Enix is up there as well. It's true. 
I, I will argue that there are some more forgettable soundtracks out there in, in, the, in the world of Square Enix. Um, not, not, I'm not saying they're all forgettable. I'm saying that you have you have a higher percentage of songs that aren't as that don't go as hard. Sorry, it's hard to describe what I'm talking about. Like, people went crazy for Octopath Traveler soundtrack, very rightfully so. But I don't think I heard anything about Triangle Strategy music. I, I assume it was probably alright, but I, I sure didn't hear much about it. Like, you think about a game like, um, Paper Mario the Origami King. Nintendo was definitely trying to, like, you know, just put out a game. And they could have, like, you know, just called it a day. But that, that game's soundtrack rivals, you know, like, some people said, like, you know, Origami King is far from my favorite Paper Mario game. But it might be my favorite Paper Mario soundtrack, which, like blows my mind when people say that because it's true it's really good and you know that's going up against like super paper mario which also has an amazing soundtrack i mean they all have an amazing soundtrack but origami king like had like a voiced musical numbers as well in it which they didn't have to do but they, 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 they they're extra they seem to like just care about doing that for some reason. So these are the mo outermost walls of our of our future Deku trees. Better questions, which which game company makes the uh, most amazing characters? Because I don't think it's Nintendo. Nintendo has created some wonderful characters that I love and cherish. But compared to like a company like Naughty Dog, they don't got nothing. They ain't got nothing on Naughty Dog in terms of expressive, well-realized characters with acting and, like, 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 characters with depth, you know? Like, I love characters like, like, Sidon, but that's not, a, that is not a character with depth. Like, 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 he has some depth, you know, like, his love for his sister and, you know, his, his desire to protect his, 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 uh, his domain. Of course, he's, he, he's a character. He's a good character. But does he compare to, like, you know, Joel from The Last of Us? No. Counterpoint, Toadsworth. True. 
Now, now, boys, don't touch that stuff. It's moving! I'm sorry. I, I can't stop myself the second I start thinking about that cutscene. It's one of those things that I just can't, I can't, I can't not. It's built into my psyche. Leitcher, thank you for hanging out with so long today. I, uh, thank you to everybody who's been here for for, for for quite a while. Do we have anybody who's been here since the start of stream? Like, since since the, the day started? Because that'd be powerful. I can back up the camera a bit. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit more room. Planet Kitty's been here. Steenus, you... you I, I, yep, yep. Because you, you subbed during the, the opening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I mean, I pulled up the stream as it started. I, I ran off for Aaron soon after. No, I'll count. I'll count. So much matter. It's very nice. Very nice to have you all here. And Palm, of course, I appreciate the Wooderkin. I know that especially these Lego streams are a lot... Like I was saying, this is this this is third monitor content. This is... I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna chill out, maybe play some Balatro on the side while MC builds Lego. Okay, I need one of my letter A's. I hope your cool room cleaning has been going well. My my office is in desperate need of a room cleaning, and it doesn't help that I just dumped a large amount of Lego boxes everywhere. Or bags, I suppose. I'm literally lurking and playing Balatro. Duck, that's what it's about now. What are you doing right now in Balatro? Like what uh what deck, what stake? I haven't even done any of the challenge runs. That, that, that I'm waiting until I do other stuff. I can't wait to do the challenge runs. The game has an impressive amount of content. I got three photographs in front yesterday. We love playing face card. High card, face card. So far, very symmetrical. Red stakes on all unlocked decks. So de deck, decks. So starting on green stake. Nice. I wish you a good luck. I hope it. Some magical build forms out of nowhere. This doesn't loop again. Where's the track list?
Oh well. Alright, what else are doing? Oh, Super Mario RPG! I love Super Mario RPG. Super Mario RPG, there's a game I've never uh, beaten. I have played it before, but I've never beaten it. I'd love to play the remake. I have it in the house. I enjoyed the remake and could appreciate the foundation it laid for future Mario RPGs like uh, Paper Mario. Yeah, it's definitely a game where, you know, you have to recognize what it is, and then you can enjoy it for what it is. Which I think a lot of games, people need to do that more often. Uh, there's a lot of times I see people, I, I, and I, I, I know that I've talked about this on stream before, but one of my biggest pet peeves out there is when people judge a game by what it's not, rather than what it is. Like, you know... Talking about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, I'm like, it's not like Twilight Princess dungeons and styles and things like that's that's true. But what is it then? Like, like, like judge it for what it is. Like, it's obviously not what you wanted, and that's okay. But is it still something you like? If not, what don't you like about it? Talk about what it is that you don't like, rather than what it isn't that that isn't there. You know? I'm definitely guilty of it too. I, I say these things with full knowledge that I am I've done the same. But that that's just my personal take on when people get critical about games is you know, you can it it's easy to compare to other things that are out there, but when you do that you start I don't know, you can sometimes not 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 see the the big picture. And that, that makes me sad. You know, don't tell me I didn't like Breath of the Wild because it didn't have traditional dungeons. It's like, okay, let's let's talk. Let's talk instead about what do you not like about the current dungeons? You know, like, like I, I, I it's like the, the current dungeons are too easy. They're they're the current dungeons can be cheesed, so it it it, it removes the 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 puzzle solving nature of it a lot of times because you can just see the so you can you can see an easy way to do it and then that ruins the magic of the aha moment it's like okay that that that's something workable it's like you know i i i disliked that like the water temple and tears of the kingdom you can see the whole dungeon in front of you and it's just like go to the four areas do the same thing repeatedly and then you're done i i i didn't like how opaque the dungeon or, or how transparent the dungeon was you know it's like I, I wanted I wanted something deeper it's like okay I I, I can see that I, th I think that's when critical analysis can get a little bit tricky is when people forget to take their time talking about what a game is rather than what it isn't
Like, I could safely say, like, Wind Waker. It'd be easy to say Wind Waker. Uh, it doesn't have as many dungeons as Ocarina of Time. That's a good piece of criticism, I guess. But I feel like it's a lot more in-depthful to say the dungeons in Wind Waker were small and it felt like they didn't give me enough of that that dungeon feel that I really enjoy about Zelda. You know, it, it felt like it was too quick. I could have done with more of it. It's like the dungeons that they had in Wind Waker were good. There just weren't a lot of them. I'm like, okay, now that's that's some feedback we can work off of, you know? Where it's like, I, I thought that the dungeons were a little bit, uh, they, they, they didn't do anything special. I didn't like the, uh, the, the assisting the characters through the dungeons gimmick. You know, and th these are not th my actual criticisms, by the way. This is just I'm using this as an example, <laughs> just so we're clear. I love the ability to have the other characters in the dungeon with you. I think that's one of Wind Waker's greatest strengths. It'd be boring if every game in the series was mostly the same. You never get Metroid Prime or Kirby Air Ride. That's the problem that that's what people want. They want to say everything's the same. They want everything to stay the same all the time and never change. So, uh, there was a nice interview with, uh, I forget the name of the, the, the Yakuza developer, uh, RGG Studios. They, they, they recently talked about how, you know, they're able to put out games fast because they reuse a lot of their assets and stuff. And they, they talked about like, you know, in an interview, it's like, how are you able to put out games this fast and still have them be fun and fresh? And they, they talk about, it's like, a lot of developers have this feeling that they have to continuously reinvent their game series over and over and over again. Uh, but you can still get a fresh feel, but just recognize what your game is. You know, Yakuza is like, I know what our, our game is. They're still able to do all sorts of fun stuff. Like they, they turned into a turn-based RPG, didn't they? Like they, 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 they can twist twist what it is, but they know what it is at its core enough that they don't have to every time they, they make a game go back to the drawing board for six years. And I think that's like a knowledge of what you're making is very important in any sort of media. be able to boil down what your series is and talk with the people around you and make something unique and fun but still familiar is good. I'm going to check one thing real quick. Bags eight and nine are the last steps of the, of the agnostic part, and then we will move on to comprehensive specific instructions. First, we gotta get bag eight out. Thank you. 
Starting out badly. By the way, I'll give a little tour of what we have so far. This is what this is what our great Deku tree is looking like. Nothing too special. Some vines on the inside, but they're mostly for that effect, the the, the looking effect of seeing some vines at this point. Which variant did you decide on for the Deku Tree? I'm going to be doing the Ocarina of Time version. But the Ocarina of Time specific instructions we're going to do on tomorrow's stream. But we're not we're not there yet. We still got we still got a bag. Two two bag two basically two full bags left of, of, of stream here. How are you today, Chris? How was your Saturday? Go oh, no, Jenga! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! You can rebuild. We have the technology. Hold on. Okay, we'll figure it, figure it out, figure it out. Okay, that's correct. piece is backwards that piece is backwards no MC think fast huh ah! what is this think fast head pat oh my god oh, that's a that's a good thing okay uh, how would be the best way to do this Panic is canceled. That looks right. Looks right on the inside. Okay. We're back. After a brief panic, we're good. Accidental sudden deforestation. Hey, Chris, how are you today? Uh, how's your Saturday going?
That's what I was trying to ask. Then I got suddenly attacked by a thousand pieces. No panic, Steelix. No more panic. We're all okay. Donkey Kong Country 2 final battle? Yeah. Because of what day it is, you should play DK Rapid of September. Oh my gosh, it is the 21st night of September. You're right. I, 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 I want Wii Shop. September. Ooh, you for gore? I did for gore. Give me the one that doesn't have the actual lyrics so I don't get copyright. Yeah, there we go. You didn't remember, I didn't.
banger, dude. Absolute banger. Happy 21st night, everybody. We're going very vertical at this point. Hong Concerto. I love it when uh, a build, you know, uses like a bright orange piece like this because it, it means that they're going to totally cover it up later but it's really useful for when you're trying to locate specific places that you're supposed to put something it's one of those things that the lego uh design team does extremely well is putting those type of things in into a build just so you have like a frame of reference point when you're building to like be able to see okay it's right next to the orange one because I could just have it be, you know, the same old color as everything else. By the way, I'll give out another reminder since I did it earlier. Um, if you would like to help me out completely free, free of charge, go ahead on over to the Archive YouTube channel and drop a, a sub. You can turn off alerts if you want to, but we need to get to a certain number of subscribers on that channel before they'll let me turn on monetization for it. So I'm trying to hit that number. I don't know what the number is off the top of my head, but... If everybody here is watching, drop a, a sub. That would help considerably. So, thank you very much. If you can do it, it would make me feel very good. And let me know if you do. Something that I'd like to have. Because that channel... I'm, I'm uploading that channel every day now, so... What was I saying? Well, I, I lost every thought I had, thanks to Yoshi. I love Yoshi. At some point, you need to share your secrets with the quick upload. It's not that complicated, Dino. Uh, so I set all my scenes up. So when I start my recording or when I, when I go to like start the stream, it starts the recording at the exact right point in my stinger animation that I want for a video intro. And I have it automatically turn off at the end of stream. And then I just drag that video file on over to YouTube. I have a preset, uh, uh, video title description playlist and all that unless it's a new series that I, or like a game I haven't played before so I'm able just to copy that from a previous video and I have a good uh, template as well uh, for my thumbnail so I'm able to just take a screenshot from the actual stream 
and then just drag it into Photoshop and boom shakalaka. I built a thing. It goes here. Let me give you guys a little look in three dimensions here. This is where we're currently at. Giving you an idea of how tall it's going to be as well. Okay, we're going to do the same build, but reverse pretty much. Yeah, my, my secret to the quick upload is just upload it. Well, th thankfully, when um, Twitch allowed uh, everybody to you know, upload immediately after instead of, like, waiting. Because, like, the old Twitch rules were you had to wait. You had to wait to upload to YouTube for 24 hours. Like, Twitch had the license for your stuff. But, uh, luckily they changed that. And so now I'm able to put it up live immediately. Because the problem with doing, like, if you, like, requiring it be 24 hours in the future is it made a lot harder mentally to, like, remember to do it. Because you'd very quickly be like, well... I can wait until later, because it doesn't have to be up for 24 hours. And then you forget about it, and then it doesn't go up, and then that happens repeatedly, and then you're behind five streams, and it feels bad, man. Oh, Ninkadata, thank you for the sub. In fact, I... And also, Fairy Friend, I, I, I got a notification for you. For some reason, it emails me sometimes when people sub. Not all the time, but sometimes. No, I don't want to Apple Pay right now. Who, who would I Apple Pay? My desk? My desk is starting a side hustle? I, like, I pinched my, like, a little bit of skin. You're not going to be able to see it, but, I mean, maybe, maybe you'll be able to see the 3D bit of it. You can see it, like, the little bit marking, like, like in the middle. You can kind of see if I do that. I, I, pin I pinched a little bit of skin between two pieces, and so my, my finger actually hurts just a teeny bit. It's nothing bad. It's... <laughs> Injured on the field! Injured on the field! Hi, Natsu. How are you today? Thank you for joining in. What's your day been like? I'm awake, I slept for like 15 hours, holy guacamole. That's a, that's a good bit of sleep. I hope you're well rested now, at least. Minimizing the number of steps that need thoughts to get you to quick uploads. Do you have a template for titles? So easy to follow that. Start the recording with streams of interest. It's a greater idea I haven't thought of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I use the the stinger animation that I have at the start of streams to use as my YouTube intro. Y'all just got coke in them all. In an ideal world, I would be able to automate things even further. Uh, 
one one thought I've had, and it's definitely within the realm of possibility, but not extremely easy to do, is to start stream, it opens up a dialogue box for me. Like when I hit the start stream button, it opens up a dialogue box for me. And it has me put in the Twitch title, the game, the go live notice, what the title should be on YouTube, and, 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 and so on. And so that would automatically do that all for me. Uh, and like upload it automatically when the, when the, when the thing is over. But that gets into automation where it, it, the, it gets a little bit risky. Uh, oops, I screwed it up, you know? That, that helps smooth out some of the edges there. Totally doable. You can even email if you forgot a title or something. Else. Yeah. Th those are the things that are like like really cool like ideas for like optimizing the, the the streamer world a little bit that I want to do, but I'm also already pressed for time as it is, you know. But some cool ideas for sure to mess around with in the future. I need to do this twice, so I should duplicate every step. Time is always a huge factor. 
it's always fun. Uh, th there are a lot of people out there who are, are like, uh, really into uh, time optimization. And those type of people I commend. But when I see them spend more time working on their tools for speeding up time than actually working, I start worrying about them. I'm like, uh-oh. You're forgetting, you're forgetting the part. You're forgetting the part where you do the work. That's a very important part. Like, with, with... I'm gonna, I'm gonna at myself a little bit here. Uh, at some point during the pandemic, I discovered Notion, which is a piece of software for, uh, note, like, keeping your notes, keeping, keeping things organized. It's, it's billed as, like, a second brain software. Like, you're supposed to, like, put everything in there so you don't forget it. You can make databases and automations and all this this cool gobbledygook and it's really it's a cool piece of software and I, and I like it and I still use it uh, but there are some people who make notion their entire personality and that's when it gets a little bit scary because uh, <laughs> I'm like is your is all that you do notion like what's your job some people use notion for their job but I'm like uh oh Like, uh, I'm like, uh, so, uh, there's like a point where you're like, this is not a piece of software, this is a cult. You get a little worried. Hmm. Alright, last bag of the day. Thankfully, it's not, it doesn't look like that bad of a bag. It looks like mostly foliage. I was like, I'm, get, I'm getting a little tired. I'm like, it's about time for the stream to end. And then I was like, oh no, one more bag. Ba ba bag eight was a powerful bag. That, that one was a big one. But this, this looks like it's going to be perfectly sized for as much energy as I have left. Alright, so, step one, I need two of these. I need twelve of these. One, two, three little heart pieces. One, two, three, four. Start putting them in place. I'm trying to do so accurately.
I return with salmon. The tree's looking good. Yeah, so far so good. It's giving us a nice, nice look so far. Oh, this is an optional place for Hestu to stand. Is this the halfway point of the playlist? It is. It's a repeat. See if I ever shared my orchestra's cover of the Me Channel theme? Uh, I'm not sure. You can you can DM it to me. I, I probably won't see it until Monday, but I'd, I'd still love to hear it. game like I've, I've, I've been interested in getting into just because I have so many friends who play it or, or actively play it and I feel like it would just be something that I, I, I'd want to do but I, 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 I'm, I'm scared of it.
feels like I either am going to have to lose my life to play it, or I won't actually enjoy it like uh, other people have. The music's a lot louder than your mic. No, I'm just not talking to my mic properly, and Yarn Yoshi's a little bit loud. Sorry, I was saying that uh, I, I'm not. I, I really want to be. I really want to play Final Fantasy XIV, but I don't think I'll have the time to devote into it. And I like. I feel like I like with that game, you either have to like devote yourself to it, or you're not going to get as a good of experience as other people. Like for a lot of people who I, I know who started playing Final Fantasy XIV, they're like. This game is my life now. This is the game I play. I play no other game except this one. And I'm like, wow. That's a big commitment that I don't know if I'm ready for. Hi, Dart. I like that. I like that email. Gotta make another hearty radish. Hardy radish. Here it is. And it's going to be planted just back. There. Take a look at this, Dark. Look how cute. It even has in the back here hook shot, Hylian shield, magic, uh, magic jar. Red potion and a bomb in the box. And also, take a look at this. It even comes with Gamer Elf. Ooh, Gamer Elf. Who just lost his shoes in the battle. Gamer Elf, no, your shoes. No, Gamer Elf. <laughs> <laughs> no! Putting Gamer Elf on this was a mistake. They at least had three sets. The Master Sword stand in the house. Yeah, they could have. But that's not the Nintendo way. Or the Lego way, for that matter. There we go. Gamer Elf is back. I'm gonna put him away. I'm sorry, I love him. a little scary. Plant some silent princesses around. I feel like at some point on the website they said Zelda's a theme, so I they do smaller ones like Animal Crossing. Man, it sure would be nice. I'm hoping Zelda fans buy this so that it shows them that We'll, we'll give them more money if they make more of them. Let's 
starting off with a $300 set was not a was a bold move. Another Endura Mushroom and another, uh... Hylian Shroom. how it's coming along so far. Next up is a lot of foliage. And this is like the last step, I would assume. Oh, wait, no, there's, there's stuff to do on it. Oh. oh, seven times. Oh, okay. No, it's just part of the step. Yeah. When, when the only way to get the Zelda minifigures is through this set, you're, you're, they're, they're going to be jacked up in price to an ex exorbitant amount. It's a unfortunate reality. Get the mega blocks. Jesus. I don't know why they don't have you pierce it beforehand. They make it a lot easier, honestly. All right. So, uh, at this point, this is the point where uh, you stop, apparently. And if you want to make it into Breath of the Wild, you do one thing. If you want to turn it into an Ocarina of Time set, you do a different thing. So, uh, at this point, we would pivot to Ocarina of Time, because I want to do the Ocarina of Time one. But, I'm actually going to say that that's enough for today. And uh, on the next stream tomorrow, we will finish this project. And we will, we will make it into the Ocarina of Time Deku Tree. We're going to call that there, my friends. Really appreciate you all being here for this. Did you have a fun time? Sounds like a plan? Yeah. Can I have my, my camera? Actually, can I have some background music, too?
Thanks for the stream. Of course, thank you. Thank you for the stream, MC. Of course. Yeah, no, and I'm... Like I said, uh, always just happy to be here with all of you. Uh, we have some fun stuff coming up. Oh, God, this light being on is the, the awful. You can see everything. And I can't even turn it off. Oh, it bye bye. It left the control center. Glad to be here for a solid ten minutes, yeah. Hi, Real Fruit. Thank you for being here as well. Well Whatever. I can do this. There we go. Yeah, no, I, I really appreciate you all stopping by and being part of the stream. I've been having a lot of fun doing my daily streams, and I'll be sure to put this one up on YouTube as well. Uh, one last thing, I, I, I said it twice now this stream, but I'm going to say it one more time. If you want to help me out, one thing that would be really helpful right now, the cost is no dollars, but is supremely helpful is going over to the archive channel, which I just posted up on the chat, supermcgamer.com slash archive and dropping a sub on that channel. You can turn off notifications if you don't want a bunch of notifications, that's fine. But if we get to a certain number of subs, I'm able to turn on monetization and other stuff for that channel. So I have to, I have to get that channel to that level. So subbing helps a lot and I would really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, no, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to continue with Lego. Um, uh, then we have Monday, Tuesday, uh, and Wednesday streams, which I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, in terms of terms of stream, I was talking about maybe a wind waker rando, but I don't know if I'm going to have time for it. We'll have to, we'll have to see. We'll look at the schedule. Um, and then Thursday, that goes to wisdom. All right. Mario 64 randomizer. Ooh, that was fun. Echoes of Wisdom did leak. I can't wait for the spoiler that Link ends up getting saved. Sorry. There's probably lots of good good stuff out there, so I'm going to I'm gonna avoid the internet a little bit. Balatro all day, let's go. Maybe some Balatro. Well, bright one of those days will be Balatro, you know? Balatro is too much fun. But anyways, folks. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the stream. As a reminder, please take care of yourself. Please take care of the people around you. It matters a lot to me and it matters a lot to them. And I want to see you back here tomorrow, all right? Thank you for hanging out. Go watch some other stream that'll make you happy. Bye, everyone. There will be no more viewing tonight.